Number 11. Write the polynomials in standard form and identify the leading coefficient. Okay, on this one we have 19x to the third minus 91x minus 6x to the fifth minus 9x squared minus x to the fourth plus 8. We want to write it in standard form, so our largest exponent gets a single underlined. The next largest exponent is to the fourth, double underline it. The next largest, largest exponent is 3, then 2. Keep underlining. This is going to get 5 underlines, and then that would get 6 underlines. Okay, so we're going to start with 6x to the 5th, so minus 6x to the 5th. The next one would be the negative x to the 4th. Then we have plus 19x cubed. And then the squared would be minus 9x squared. And then we have your x would be minus 91x. And then the last one would be our plus 8. Okay. The leading coefficient would be the negative 6. So the leading coefficient is your negative 6. On the next one, the largest exponent is to the fifth. So we're going to write it first. Okay, we're not going to underline on this one. Then we're going to have minus 1. We don't need the 1, so it's just minus x to the fourth. Okay, the third power would be x to the third, 3x to the third. We have a squared, so minus 2x squared. We have an x minus 7x, and then plus 18. The leading coefficient would be negative 3. And on the next one, evaluate negative 16t squared plus 80t plus 25 when t is 6. Thankfully, you have a calculator. Replace the variables with parentheses and plug your number in. Rewrite the problem, make sure you put your squared, and type this into the calculator. You should not miss this if you could keystroke it. If you were to keystroke this, you would get negative 71.